Hey guys, it's Charlie with CompetitiveEdgeProducts.com. I want to take a moment and show you the 10x10 cabin tent by Kodiak and the 12x12 and what some of the differences are between them. If you're a Kodiak tent fan, you have no doubt seen the Flexbo style, which is different from the cabin. Let me show you the Flexbo style. As you can see here, these, these are the fast ones. These are the ones that set up as like five minutes with one person. Super awesome. The, it is. It really is an incredible tent. It's very forgiving in in bad harsh weather. So you've a lot of people have seen these ones, and you can tell that it's not the the cabin style. All of the walls kind of slope inwards. Um, six and a half foot tall versus seven and a half feet. These cabin ones are seven and a half feet. So the twelve by twelve's been out for. Oh, I think it might be two years now. If not, it's it's coming up close. The 10x10 10 10 was just introduced several weeks ago in the beginning of 2022. And uh, one of the reasons it came out is because there's a lot of people that want the stove option. You can see this here. This is called a stove jack. And this allows you to put a hot tent, a, a, a cylinder stove, inside of the tent to keep it warm. And so some people don't need a larger 12x12 12 12, and they just camp solo or with one other person maybe they don't have a ton of gear and so that uh, is kind of the reasoning behind the 10 by 10. so the 10 by 10 doesn't have it has a lot of the features that the 12 by 12 has but there are some differences let me show you what some of the similarities are first there are windows on all sides of both of these tents so if you're not going to use a stove no big deal Either of these tents, they, they'll have windows on, on every side so you can open them up and get a breeze. Um, they both have stove jacks, as you can see. And the stove jack, just, just to compare apples to apples, I used an image where it had this storm window on both sides. But this, is, this photo here is actually the back of the 10x10. 10 10. The front of it looks just like this, where it's got the, the D-shaped door here. And they both have one D-shaped door right here on the front right side and they both have a window here on the front and then they have these storm windows um, you can see this one has an extra window the 12 by 12 but they both have these storm windows which allow you to to set them up and and it isn't just open and exposed they zip up from the interior so you can get complete privacy but if you need ventilation and uh, and it's raining or it might rain you don't have to worry about that rain getting inside. The stove jacks on both of them zip up close. Um, the, the lighting that was taken in these separate photos is a little bit deceiving. They're actually identical in color, but the lighting makes this one look a little bit darker, and it's not. They're both the same color. And also, full transparency, this photo here on the right of the 12x12 12 12 isn't showing all of the guy ropes. It has guy ropes off of every single one of these poles, including the ridge pole, just like this one does. But this photo is also missing some of them, some of them as well. Let me show you an aerial photo of the 10 by 10 to give you a better idea of how the guy ropes look. These are the guy ropes on the 10 by 10, and you see it has it has a lot of them. It's very quick to set up, and we have a video that shows how quickly I this is me. I was able to set it up uh, just by myself, and I show you a few tips and, and tricks in there because I know a lot of you are have a plan on going camping solo and need to know how to set it up if you're by yourself. The instructions tell you two people on both of these tents. But you can see every corner, every pole has guy ropes coming out. That is also the same with the, the 12 by 12. But the 12 by 12, um, it does have more poles. It needs more poles because it's a bigger tent. So you can see that you lose uh, one of the poles on this side and then you lose these two poles here next to, to these Velcro straps. If you look closely, you can see the, there's black Velcro straps here. And those are for the add-on awning. The add-on um, the add-on room is only an option for this 12 by 12. This extra room adds eight by eight, so it gives you a lot more um, usable area. It's it, There's no floor in there, but I mean, it's just awesome to have that extra space if you've got like a bunch of gear if you're going to be out for a few weeks uh it's just awesome and these uh, roll down and they zip on the sides and they velcro on the bottom 
and it is from the outside. So some people are like, well, I'm not going to have much privacy because anyone can just open my, my window and look in. And I've never heard of that actually happening at anybody's campsites. But also, um, this isn't the, the main tent area where somebody would be sleeping necessarily. I mean, you could throw down some tarps and, and, and sleep more people in there, sure. The next uh, point that I wanted to point out is that if you have this extra awning on here, and these Velcro straps they use, that's what those are for on this model, and that's why they're not on the 10 by 10 because there is no add-on room made for this. This is designed to be just a simple 10 by 10 cabin tent that's stove ready. Um, but you can, you can, the, the assembly time is a big difference between the two because you have all of these extra poles, which it's needed and, and it's great. If you're using the 12 by 12, you're going to want all that stability especially if you're using a stove in there. But you also have the extra poles for the awning. So the assembly time on that one with two people would be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, if you're putting up the awning and everything. And the awning comes with its own poles, by the way. And then the 10 by 10 is more like, with two people, is probably more like 10 minutes. It's, it's really pretty basic. You've just got the ridge pole here, and then you've got these three poles on each side that you then stake down. So how many people do you expect to sleep in the 10 by 10 versus the 12 by 12? That one is always a little bit tricky for me to answer because the stoves take up a fair amount of room. You have an L-shaped area left if you're using a stove. So first of all, if you're not using a stove, the 10 by 10 is a six person tent. You can really sleep six people. I've done that myself uh, without a stove. When you throw a stove in there, it's more like two adults if you're using cots. And if you're using those disco beds that you can stack, then, you know, you can double that and fit four people in. And you, and you still have room for gear. It's not like it's super tight. The 12 by 12 is probably more, it, give, it definitely gives you more area. It's almost like more area for more gear, though, um, because the stove just leaves an L-shaped area. Um, if people are using sleeping bags instead of cots, um, you could probably fit six people in there. Um, with the stove, if you're using disco beds, um, otherwise, if it's just normal camping, you're probably looking at, at three, maybe four, if they're, if they're small cots and just, they take up the L-shaped area. The stove jack is the same on both. It's the same. It's for a five inch stove pipe on either model. Both of them have the lifetime warranties on them. If it leaks water, if, uh, if you run into any issues, Kodiak's awesome at standing behind their warranty and making sure their customers are happy. Now both of the 10x10 and the 12x12 can support a ridge pole. Uh, it's like an extreme weather pole for heavy snow. The 10x10 though, the surface area of the roof is such that you really should probably try it without the ridge pole. The ridge pole goes right in the center of the room and um, it kind of can get in the way. I wouldn't recommend it for the 10 by 10. It is not included on the 10 by 10, by the way. It is an option though. The 12 by 12 does include it. And it's this pole here, and it just goes through these two loops that are found on both the 10 by 10 and the 12 by 12 tents. And then at the bottom of this pole, there's like a little um, foot that gives you some surface area so the pole doesn't puncture the floor. But it's designed for really heavy snow. The 12 by 12 has enough surface area on the roof. Even then, you may not need it. Like, it has to be pretty heavy snow to, to need it. But uh, if you're in Alaska or you're in the Rocky Mountains or whatever and you're going to just get pounded, you might be glad to have that hole. And that's what the bottom looks like with the, the plastic foot. And it has a thumb screw, so you telescope it and then you can push up on the, the roof to make to give it that extra stability. So which tent is better? It's, I don't think it's a question of which tent's better as much as it is which one suits your needs. The features are basically the same. If you're going camping with one or two people, you might appreciate that 10 by 10. Uh, if you've got a ton of gear, you're going for weeks at a time, you might appreciate the 12 by 12 that gives you some more storage room and has the option for the add on on it, the add on room. The prices are obviously going to be very different between the two. The 10 by 10 will be less expensive, the 12 by 12 more expensive, and then the, the optional add-on room is in addition to that if you 
are interested in that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, the, the, you would use the same stove in either of the tents, um, but the 10 by 10 has a lot less volume. So having used both of these, the 10 by 10 heats up super fast, like really fast. <laughs> um, you don't want to burn it too hot, obviously, but um, I actually had to, when I've done demos in the 12 by 12, and, and granted it was colder outside, but it was still below freezing in both videos. Um, I didn't have to um, close the, deprive the stove of oxygen through the, the ventilation holes near the front bottom door of the stove. But I did on this one. Like it, it got, it's like as soon as it started getting warm, it was exponential and then got really warm and, and it was past 80 degrees. And you can't just burn these willy nilly so that the stove pipe is red hot or you could damage the, the silicone um, casing right here. So just an overview, the features, the height is the same on both of these. The the height of these sidewalls is the same. The storm window is the same. It looks a little different in the pictures because the perspective and the angles are different. Uh, the stove jack is the same. The weight of the, the canvas is the same on, on both of them. They have windows on both sides, but this one's going to have extra window, an extra window here. And, um, it's going to have the add on room. So if, uh, if this one is what you want, but it prices you out of the market because it's bigger, more expensive, more material involved in manufacturing those, then the 10 by 10 might suit your needs. Um, but like I said, if you're going weeks at a time, I think you'd appreciate having the larger tent. Uh, with that add-on option. Both have a lifetime warranty, both waterproof. Um, amazing tents, have guy ropes everywhere to hold up in, in bad wind, and they're stove ready. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.